Net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence has 7, started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Hello everyone. My name is Jonathan Dweck and I'm an operations engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 18th launch of the year and 217th overall mission to date. And today, we're sending another 52 Starlink satellites to orbit. Currently, weather and range are both looking good, and we're proceeding with a T-0 time of 1226 p.m. Pacific time from Vandenberg Space Force Base at Pad 4, 4 East. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. We should start to see the clamp arms start to open up around the payload fairing, just at the top of your screen there. And there you have it. Those clamp arms have started to open in preparation for launch. Now those clamp arms are connected to our transporter erector, also known as the TE. And this is that large truss structure next to the rocket that's used for rollout and to route propellants and electrical power to the vehicle in preparation for launch. The TE has also started to retract away from the vehicle as we gear up for launch here. It's a gorgeous day up in Vandenberg. You can see the Pacific Ocean just behind the Falcon 9. The next milestone that we're tracking is stage one locks load complete. We expect that to occur in around 15 seconds from now. Stage one locks load complete. And there you heard that call out. Uh, at T minus three minutes, the Falcon 9 first stage uh, has completed its locked loading. Next, we're waiting the completion of locked load on our second stage in around 45 seconds from now. And once that's complete, this will conclude propellant loading on the entire vehicle. Those white clouds that you're seeing around Falcon 9 are completely normal. During propellant loading, we vent cold gas that forms above the LOX tank surface, and what you're seeing is the result of that cold gas coming in contact with the warmer California air and condensing. Again, if you're in the Vandenberg area, should be some beautiful views today.
Just expecting to hear that call out for second stage locks load complete any moment now. Stage two, locks load complete. And there you heard it as well. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And we're getting some venting there from our transporter erector as we just prepare for launch. The booster that you see on your screen is flying for its eighth time today, having previously supported SARA-1, SWAT, NRL-85, and 87, and three Starlink missions. Coming up next, Falcon 9 will enter its startup phase. Falcon 9 is in startup. You heard that call out as well. Falcon 9 is now on internal power. Now we're just waiting to hear from the launch director with our final go, no go for launch today. LD is go for launch. The launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. Now let's sit back and watch as the Falcon 9 takes our 52 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off to Starlink 2 8. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. Plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg's Space Launch Complex 4 East at 12.26 p.m. Pacific Time. This is our fifth launch from Vandenberg just this year. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. With that call out, Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there you heard that call out for Max Q. This means that the vehicle is currently experiencing the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through Earth's atmosphere on its way to space. We're just about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, stage SEP, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation is when the first and second stages separate. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when those two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out for the, those events because they're going to be happening in rather quick succession. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you have those events. Uh, again, that was Miko, stage step, SES-1, and as you saw, fairing separation. We'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's missions are flight proven and are flying for the fifth time. And just a reminder, on the left-hand side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage making its way back down to Earth. And on the right is the second stage carrying our Starlink satellites into orbit.
Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is positioned in the Pacific Ocean. And a reminder, our first stage is on the left-hand side of your screen. If successful with today's landing attempt, this will mark our 179th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. And the MVAC engine on the right-hand side of your screen, attached to our second stage, is continuing its burn. And this should last for another several minutes here. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 217th mission overall and 18th mission just this year. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And there you heard that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Coming up in about a minute or so, we expect stage one entry burn. This is the point at which the first stage will relight three of its Merlin 1D engines in preparation for landing. And we expect that entry burn to begin in just around 40 seconds from now. Getting some really spectacular views of the Earth behind both our MVAC on the right-hand side of your screen and through those two grid friends on our first stage on the left-hand side. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's that call out for stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also refer to as the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. The first stage used to launch our 52 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its eighth time. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Having previously supported SARA-1, SWAT, NROL-85 and 87, and three previous Starlink missions. And as you saw, we had stage one entry burn shutdown. Stage one FTS has saved. Coming up next will be our stage one landing burn. This will be the final burn on our first stage. And this stage is- Stage two FTS has saved. The point that this would be in preparation for landing on our drone ship. Stage one transonic. And there's that call out that our first stage is transonic, which means it's traveling near the speed of sound. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's that confirmation that the stage one landing burn has begun in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Just coming into frame now on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage 
stage one lending lug deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. This marks our 179th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including F-9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Nominal orbit insertion. And we just heard that call out as well for nominal orbital insertion of our second stage and our Starlink satellites. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and good orbit from our second stage, that wraps up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. And for those of you interested in watching, for those of you interested in watching more launch coverage, tune in for a double header later this afternoon to watch Falcon 9 take the SES-18 and SES-19 payloads to space from Space Launch Complex 40 on the opposite coast in Florida. As always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again in just a few hours.